What's going on guys? Welcome to your fourth Unity tutorial. Again with me, Travis, and I just want to start off by saying thank you for subscribing. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, you know, obviously it supports us, so thank you for doing that. And in today's tutorial, we're actually going to get into the game development aspect of Unity. And you're probably saying, it's about time, man. We got we had to do all that boring setup stuff. Well, it's going to be fun. We're going to add some physics to our player object or our ball as of right now and get our basic temple run 2D type scroller set up. Um, it's not going to be exactly like temple run. Hopefully we'll get to there. Um, but as for now, we're just going to get the 2D version kind of set up. So uh, first thing that we need to do is add a platform for a ball to land on and interact with, use gravity and physics and all that stuff. So uh, let's go to game objects and hit create other and we're going to use a cube and we're just going to move the cube down here. And the first thing that we might want to check is uh, you know from our bird's eye view so I'm going to click on the Y axis up here and it's going to bring us to not sorry perspective there but uh, uh, the Y axis so it's going to bring us to our top view as you can see yes our ball will fall and it will land on our platform but sometimes if you guys are new to 3D graphics you know our platform might be off so again this is bird's eye view so if a ball falls into the screen it will not land on our platform even though in our game view it looks like it should it'll just fall right behind this cube getting started you might want to double check different views within the 3d model or the graphic um, engine itself so what we need to do now is uh, replace this square again we can just drag this back or we can go into our inspector and type 0 for Z axis because again our ball is at the position 0 0 0 and this will be guaranteed that our ball lands on our platform as long as there's not a whole lot of wind or anything like that alright so let's go back into our front view here and the next thing that we want to do is we want to stretch out our ground object or this cube so obviously it has a, a bigger ground or a bigger area for a ball to interact with. You know, we could create a bunch of cube objects, place them together and make a platform that way, but that would really hinder the performance of our game, which is terrible. And what we actually want is less polygons, so we can do that by stretching out our square. And you can uh, stretch objects by selecting them, so make sure your cube is selected. And just hit R on your keyboard and it will change your axes to these uh, kind of handles that you can grab in the X direction and stretch your object or again Y direction you can uh, scale your object one way or the other we're just going to blow up our platform in the X axis a little bit so you know just pull it out and zoom out uh, using the scroll wheel on your mouse there we go so again we might want to double check yep top view looks pretty good so what's going to happen is our ball is just going to go off into the right direction. So everything from about right here left is not being used. So we might want to move our platform over to the right. And you did know how to do that with those axes. But now that they turned into these handles, you're like, okay, how do we switch back? Because now I'm just scaling the object. To do that, it's just easy as hitting W on your keyboard. And it switched your handles back into these... Uh, these axis points here which moves the orientation of your object so again R is scalable W back to uh, moving your position but if you don't like shortcuts you like doing things the long tedious way you can go up here and uh, here is your handle object or making it scalable and here is your actual movement of the object All right, but again W and R Alright, so now that we have that set up, let's just test out our game by hitting this run button and nothing's happening because our player is a beautiful object, as you can see here, a beautiful sphere. But like in life, at least with women, a lot of the really beautiful ones don't have the brain yet. So what we want to do is we want to add some, some functionality to our ball, making it have some brains, working with gravity, physics, working with the game itself and it's pretty simple in unity to do that before we actually add that I want to specify on something because right now our game is running and sometimes I do this myself I'm developing a game and while it's running you might want to move things around or you might want to like stretch your object you know something like that and you make all these adjustments you work on it for hours and you're like oh wait my game was running 
you know, you hit the play button again to stop your game. And what's going to happen is all those changes are going to be erased. They're going to go back to where it was uh, when you first hit the play button. So make sure when you're making adjustments that you want to keep in your game and definitely you are not running the game. So as you can see when I release here, it goes back to what it was originally. So that's just kind of a cautionary note that you guys might want to uh, take into consideration. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to add some physics to our ball, which is pretty simple. We're going to go up to the component tab, and there's a physics built into Unity. Again, the beauty of Unity is all the built-in features. And we're just going to go to rigid body here, click on that bad boy, and over here in the inspector, as you have your player object or our sphere selected, we have this new tab called rigid body, and it has a mass a drag, angular drag, we'll get into some of this stuff later, but the most important one for now is it uses gravity. We can either uncheck this or check it. Uh, we're going to leave it checked, so uh, let's just run it now and see what happens. Oh, pretty awesome. Our ball is uh, working with gravity. It's pretty much like Isaac Newton came in and he's like, oh no, ball, you gotta, you gotta listen to gravity, even in the game world. So obviously if you didn't want to have gravity, you could uncheck that, but we're going to leave that checked. And again, our game is running now, so we can make adjustments. I'm going to hit the W and just bring your ball, and we can kind of see how it works. Like again, these won't be saved, any of uh, these movements I'm making, but you can test out how the gravity looks. That's yeah, kind of cool. I mean, pretty awesome. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Again, rigid body kind of adds some of the basic uh, gravity functions uh, making our ball kind of have a mass and be able to interact with other objects use gravity so uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial we'll get into some programming maybe in the next tutorial to make our ball uh, move left and right or something like that maybe have a jump button um, but again guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next tutorial